Hi, my name is Leandro, I work at Assembla and I'm going to show you how to integrate CloudBees with Assembla. So, uh, I'm at the CloudBees dashboard page and as you can see here, I am I have already subscribed to the build service, the Jenkins Continuous Integration. What I'm about to show you is to how integrate the Jenkins service from CloudBees with the Git repository service from Assembla. So let's open the build service here. Click on the Jenkins icon here. And if you don't have the the build service subscribed yet, uh, it's, it's worth to say that it takes about 30 minutes to completely set up and be available to use it. All right, so the next step right now is to create a new job. Um, we can do that by clicking on the create new jobs link here. All right, so uh, let's pick a name here. Uh, just a test. And check the build a free style software project. And then click OK. Incredibly as it may sound, we are close to the end. Uh, now we have to copy this uh, public key here. Then go to the Assembler tab here, uh, right here in this corner. Uh, click on Profile. Okay, right now uh, you go to the Manage SSH keys. And then you paste your public key right here from your clipboard. And then click on Add Key. Uh, as you can see, I've already have added the the key right here. So I won't do this again. So once you're done about adding the public key, you can close this tab and you can get back to the Jenkins job screen. So let me do it. Uh, okay. So now we are going to define which source code management software we are going to use. So in our case, we are going to use Git. And so let's check it and define the Git repository URL, which is right here. Okay, so now we have to define uh, the build trigger. And just for the record, uh, you could also use the subversion option right here. Since Assembla offers the subversion repository service as well. All right, scroll down a bit uh, over the build trigger section and check the last one. Check the pull SEM checkbox. And in this uh, schedule tech, text area here, uh, we are going to define the, the time interval to pull our git repository. So let's define it like uh, on each, on every three minutes, um, that means that on every three minutes we are going to check on the git repository on Assembler if there is any new uh, commit in there in order to Jenkins to recheck the, the build against. So, and lastly, but not least, uh, we are going to add uh, a step on the, on the build, which is the step responsible for uh, actual running uh, our tests. So, all you have to do is to click on this add build step drop down and choose the execute shell and for this case uh, we're going to type a specific command line uh, 
Yup, it's that simple as this command line. Uh, we are running here a simple uh, bash script. Uh, it's located inside our git repository, inside this pex directory, right here in this example. Uh, if I open it, you you notice how simple this script is. And one important thing you need to be aware here, uh, it's about this exit zero here. Uh, for any script or program uh, you use as a build job step, uh, like this one here, uh, you need to inform uh, which is the value to be returned uh, to Jenkins build. In this case, we are returning zero, but it could be one as well. Zero indicates success and one indicates failure. All right, so we are done with our build setup. Uh, we can just click on save here. And right now, uh, Jenkins has uh, enqueued the, the build job. So after two or three minutes, I have refreshed the page and now the build is green, is at a successful state here. All right, this is it, we are done. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial and that you are now able to integrate CloudBees with Assembler.